Hello everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this channel, I'm going to show you how to create a zero storage account, how to create Blob container, and also file share storage. The most important thing I will show you is how we're going to use Windows to access both Azure Blob storage and FireShare storage. We are going to test access speed to see what's the difference to access both. That will give you an idea how the access speed looks like and how the Windows access to Blob and FireShare account looks like as well. Let's start it. So we're going to log into our Microsoft Azure account as I did here. I logged in my account. I already created the one test one group, resource group. So all resources we're going to create in this lab, we're going to put into this resource group. We're going to create a storage account for our testing purpose. Since we are going to use two different types of storage for testing, one is we're going to use in Blob and we're going to support it NFS3. So it's going to be using premium we're going to use in block blobs and we can keep using locally redundant storage LIS so these kind of settings will allow us to enable NFS3 for this storage account which is going to be using in our test lab here we're going to allow blob public access we're going to enable hierarchical namespace. Once we enable that, you're going to able to enable network file system version 3. That's the one we needed for our lab. Now we can do next. For other settings, you can keep default settings. I don't need text. Then we're going to review and create it. So this is the first account we're going to test NFS and also we're going to create our second one to test our file share access. So using the file share we can use standard we don't have to go to premium, so we're gonna based on a standard testing and the next. So all other settings will be default settings. With standard settings, we won't be able to enable network file system version three, even you enabled hierarchical namespace. Other settings we will be the same and review and create it. If you go back to our storage account, refresh the page, you can see the first one has been created. Let's look at network settings. You can see virtual network has been created. For our testing purpose, we also need to create our virtual machine. So we're going to create our virtual machine. We're going to use um, Windows virtual machine for this testing. We're going to use the same test one group as our resource group. 
we're going to use in two virtual CPU, four gig of memory, standard B2S virtual machine for testing purpose. We're going to use in NetSec. This has the username. So we're going to use Windows Server 2019 Data Center Generation 2 version as our image. We can also allow RDP 3389. Default disk is more than enough for our testing. Uh, networking, we're going to have a public IP. We're going to use the same virtual network as our storage account using. So there's one reason behind it. For NFS version 3, only same virtual network machine can access that storage account using NFS as version 3, not any other network's machine. That's the only security feature existing on the NFS version 3 storage account. Then remember that you need to have same virtual network management. We're going to keep the default settings advanced, nothing need to be changed. Tags, no needed, view and create. So they are validating the configuration here. All are good. So it's gonna deploy this virtual machine in a couple minutes. At the same time, we're gonna go back to our resource group to take a look again. So we have storage account being created and another storage account being created and also virtual network has been created as well. So we're going to wait our virtual machine to be deployed. While waiting, um, we're going to create a couple folders for testing. So since we haven't installed Azure Storage Explorer yet, so we can not open it but we're going to do it in our new virtual machine. So testing, test 51 file. This one is we're going to use created file shares and we're going to test the access speed. File share 1. For this NFS version 3 enabled storage account, we only can create the containers. That's the one we're gonna. So let's say blob storage other settings can keep same. You can use in private or allow public access as access. That doesn't matter for our purpose. Either one works. Create. As you can see, we got a permission issue. So in this case, we need to add our firewall rule to allow this IP to access to it. So in this way, we can go back to our storage account, go to our firewall settings, networking, so we cannot choose all networks, we have to use in selected network. Um, if you look at the firewall settings here, we're going to add our client IP address here. Once you did that, save. Now we can go back to our storage account. You can access our containers now. We're going to add a directory called test blob. Now the virtual machine should be ready. We're going to access the public IP from, from my favorite client. 
mobile XTERM. I'm using my favorite uh, RDP client mobile XTERM to access our new created uh, virtual VM. There's a couple things we're gonna do. First, we're gonna install Explorer, Azure Storage Explorer. So we're gonna download it. And we're gonna install it. So we can see how easily we can use Storage Explorer to access to it. So that's uh, one of the ways I'm gonna show you how to access your storage account files, either in blob storage or either in file share storage. At the same time, we gonna mount our file share into our local machines here. So that's gonna be very simple thing to do. So let's look at our file shares. So let's connect. We're gonna use a uh, Active Directory or either storage account key to access to it. So in this case, we're going to use in storage account key to access to it. Let's go back to our virtual machines. So installation has been completed. Let's do PowerShell. So as you can see, we already successfully mount our Z drive here. So let's look at um, our PC. Refresh to it. And we can create a folder on it. At the same time, from the web portal, we also can see this new created photo. Now I'm going to download a um, large image. going to use an ISO file. The largest one is this almost 8 gigabytes. Click download link. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to download it local. While it's downloading, we are gonna connect to our Azure storage, use this storage explorer. So we can use the subscription, we can use Azure, and this browser gonna redirect us to a login page. Right, it shows up. So now let's log in. Now we got the authenticated page, so we can return to our storage explorer. From here, we can go back to our subscription to check our storage account, which we created. Um, we have two of them. One is for FileShare, one is for Blob Storage. So one thing we can test it, we can test the uploading speed. Um, we can use um, Explorer to do uploading. So we have one file, 
you can upload to destination folder. You can one we have one file has been created, which is uh, almost eight gigabytes um, image. So we can upload to it. Then we can monitoring our network performance. As you can see, there's a 400 meg BPS to send it. Once that done, we're gonna download it using the file share here. File share folder. Is, this is uploading. Once this has been uploaded, we're gonna copy it down to our local download folder. So you can tell it's uh, stable around 450, 470, um, around that number. If you have not doing anything interference, uh, uploading, downloading, then that will be stable around 450 Mac BPS. So uploading has been completed. Um, we're gonna rename this one so that case we can download one from our loot folder this one is we already upload to the loot folder under our storage account fireshare storage account so we're gonna copy it we're gonna download it to download folder so then we can see the speed for downloading. You can wait until it's stable. So at the beginning, because of the cache, uh, the downloading speed is going to close to the 1 gig BPS. But uh, after it's stabilized, it's uh, around uh, 350, 375. So around 300 Mbps. So still not bad. So after the past of the cache, cache loads, um, cache downloading, so it's getting stable around 400 Mac BPS, 450 BPS, Mac BPS. So that's the real speed. 450 Mac BPS uploading and downloading. So this is um, our speed testing for Azure File Share. And uh, next video gonna be Blob Account Storage Access Testing using NFS version three. So uh, normally there's uh, no way you can mount Blob storage into windows but with the latest feature and fs version 3 now we can mount our blob storage account into our windows machine so we're gonna test it in our next video if you like my video please give me a thumb up if you haven't subscribed my video please subscribe you will get latest update when i upload the video Thank you for watching.